What's up everyone, back for another beer review, and today I'll be reviewing a beer from the Brooklyn Brewery, and they're out of Brooklyn, New York, and this is their Brooklyn Pilsner. So they're calling this one a crisp Pilsner that comes in at 5% alcohol by volume. No IBUs less in time of review. I don't know exactly how old this can is, but it does have a Best Buy date of October of 2022. We're about two, two and a half weeks away from October right now as I review this one. So we're coming in just under the gun, but we should be fine according to the brewery. So this beer is very interesting because on tap they have two different check-ins of it. They have this, which is the 5% version, and then they have the 4.6% version. The differences, I really can't tell outside of the ABV obviously being different, but uh, the 4.6% version has 8,000 total check-ins or close to it. And this one has about 60. So I don't know what's going on. I don't know if like certain areas get the 5%, maybe they reformulate it, I have no idea. I couldn't find much information on this at all, whether it's a German style Pilsner or a Czech style or just an American style. And on the back here, it just says bright golden and strikingly refreshing. This is a Pilsner inspired by Brooklyn and brewed for all. Crisp, fresh, and fun. I don't know, so whatever. I'm here to uh, give it a go and that's about it. So give it a quick, oh, it's gushing out, but uh, not too bad, I thought it was gonna gush out. So, yeah, oh man, that's super light. I mean, I, you know, it's a Pilsner, so I kind of expect it, but man, that is super light, Jesus. All right, put this over here like that. Yeah, that looks like fizzy yellow beer. I mean, that honestly, if I was doing this blind, I would say that's like an American light lager, or Amer maybe like an American lager, like a Budweiser or like a Bud Light or something like that. It's super light. Might be a little bit darker on camera, I have no idea, but it's, yeah, it's like golden straw color. You can see right through with the clarity. I mean, it is a lager, it's a Pilsner. Has about almost a two finger of this soap sudsy, bright white uh, colored head. Decent amount of carbonation, just, you know, this doesn't have an etching at the bottom of the glass, so it's not promoting the carbonation and it's fine. Let's get a nose. Woo. Big sulfur aroma like a lot of people you know when they talk about lagers they'll say like lager funk or you get some sulfur like that's kind of you know doesn't matter the I, I shouldn't say it doesn't matter lager but for like a pilsner you typically get that or a lot of german lagers in general right this hit me in the nose definitely funky definitely sulfur but then there's this nice like lemony kind of um i would say more of a hop aroma it has the underlying bready slightly biscuit kind of malt sensation grainy to some extent Maybe a slight like red apple core. There's an earthy, almost floral-esque kind of aspect to the hop as well. Yeah, it doesn't smell bad, but I guess <clears throat> as I first, you know, went for the, the first sniff, like that sulfur-esque kind of aroma just like hit me in the nostrils. I'm like, ooh, it has dissipated now. It's still slightly there, but not as bad as it was when I first went for the aroma. Anyway, smells like it's gonna be exactly what they say, crisp, fresh, and fun. Sure, sure, Brooklyn. Anyway, cheers, everyone. Oh, yeah. Real crisp. Decently dry. Not too bad. Um, if I had to guess what kind of style this would, would be, I think it would be more in the German style, based on what I'm tasting, because of that. I always feel German compared to Czech, the two you know biggest, uh, I guess, um, styles of Pilsners. Um, I think the German styles for me are typically a little bit, a little bit drier. They're a little bit, a little bit more intense with the hop character, not overly so, but a little bit. And then they have, you know, more carbonation. And I think for sure this has more carbonation. It's definitely dry. I don't think the hop character is overwhelming or anything. And it's not even like super noticeable, but those first two uh, characteristics are un unmistakable. Lighting this for 5%, lower side of medium body maybe almost medium body it's nice the mouthfeel again they say crisp pilsner yes it's crisp it's a really clean super refreshing this is a crushable lager the taste here's where and i know this sounds stupid because i'm gonna say this is where it kind of falls flat a little bit and it's the taste which you should like 98 percent of drinking a beer is taste um it's just a little bit boring to some degree but i feel like pilsner's for me, they don't need to be super flavorful. I think I want that crispness. I want it to be you know, quite drinkable and have a balance, maybe even lean a little bit more dry. I think the taste of this is a little lacking, but I do enjoy the body and mouthfeel, so it makes up for it a little bit, but not all the way. 
There's a bready biscuity malt character, slightly grainy right at the forefront that dives underneath. It's omnipresent. It's all the way around. You get that breadiness all over the tongue and the palate in general. Halfway through the palate, well, maybe like a third of the way through the palate, that lemony kind of zestiness that I got and the nose is there. And then it turns into this floral, slightly, I'm going to say slightly herbaceous. You know, let me take that back. Floral and a little bit grassy. It has this grassy kind of um, hop character. This finishes almost full on dry. I'd say moderate to full dry, but closer to the full side of things. Really no bitterness to speak of. Maybe a very mild hop bitterness, that grassy floral thing finishing on a bit. Of, yeah, maybe, maybe mild bitterness. But this is pretty balanced. It has enough of that malt sweetness up front. You get that dryness, a little bit of bit bitterness. My tongue is now devoid of saliva, so I've got to go back for another sip. 5%, you can't tell. Super crushable. The best part about this beer is the drinkability. I could definitely down a couple cans of that, maybe even a six pack. I shouldn't anymore, but I could. And this is not going to weigh down your palate. You're not, it's not, there's no part of this that's going to be too much after a can or two. A lot of times when I drink all kinds of different styles, I'll say this beer is going to be too sweet or too tart or too acidic or too hop forward. This is pretty well balanced. Thing is, is the flavors, while I, you know, I tried to describe them as you do in a review, they're kind of muted to some degree compared to other beers. Now, could that be the age that this is almost, you know, at the best bite date? Could it be just the beer itself and that's what they're going for? They just refer to it as a Chris Pilsner. And when you say Chris Pilsner, I feel like you're just talking about the body and the mouthfeel mostly, like it's gonna be an easy, refreshing beer. And it is, but it's nothing that I really love. It's solid. So rating on the Brooklyn Brewery's Brooklyn Pilsner, I have no problems. We're just gonna go straight 3.5 out of five. I can't go much higher than that. I mean, it's not like anything amazing, but if like I was at a party or a cookout or a barbecue or over a friend's house and he was like, hey, you want a beer? I'm like, sure, and he handed me this. No problem drinking this. Like there's no off flavors. It's brewed well. It's just, you know, not a lot going on to be honest with you. Price point, I think six packs are around 10, 11 bucks in my neck of the woods. That's fine. Availability is Brooklyn. Wherever you see Brooklyn beers, you probably see this one. Now, here's a question to anybody who finishes this watching the review. If you do see this one locally or you've had it before, do you get the 5% or do you get the 4.6%? We clearly get the 5% one here. As you can tell, I don't know if it'll show up on camera, but right there it says 5%. So I don't know. I'd be curious to know, did they you know, reformulate this one? I have no idea when it comes to Brooklyn. I don't buy a lot of their stuff anymore, but they can make some good beer. And I think this is a solid, well-made beer, just not one of my favorites. So if you've had this one before, post in the comment section. Let me know what you think about it because you know I could probably drink this right now on camera and have no issues with it, but I'm not going to. It's my one or possibly two beers of the day, so I'm going to enjoy it. Anyway, appreciate everybody stopping by for another beer review here on the Beer Patrol to the next one. Oh, yeah, I wanted to say I don't think this is actually going for a German or Czech-style Pilsner. They call it Chris Pilsner. We could probably just classify this one as an American Pilsner and leave it at that. Anyway, to the next one. Cheers.